Well hello everyone and you join us here today to talk about videos, um, not our videos, a video by someone else, a certain Jenny L, and we're not just going to talk about it between ourselves, uh, Tom. We have a special guest, we have none other than Jenny L herself. Hello Jenny, how are you doing today? Yay, hi, I'm doing very well, thank you for having me, I'm so excited to do this and yeah, I just I can't wait to to chat with you guys. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to join us. I didn't know if you would think we were the big evil corporation to tell us to go away. So, very very no, lovely no. to have you here. Yeah, <laughs> great to have you. I'm a bit starstruck actually. <laughs> no, stop it. That's how I feel. I'm I'm very nervous right now. It's, <laughs> it's an honor. It's an honor. This is this is one of those uh, moments where stars collide. I think uh, we're all we're all fanboying and fangirling in equal measure. Oh, and, um, totally. Well, I, I guess for you, it's the first time you've seen us because we're very camera shy. Um, uh, yeah, but I, I have to admit though, I did a bit of a like a detective work online, and I obviously <laughs> googled my way um, to to your faces. So, but yeah, that's the first live sort of live version I, I see of you and it's it's very nice <laughs> oh, well I, I, i'll take that that's very kind we'll move on before it um <laughs> before it derails um so really yeah what i wanted to do today is i wanted to take the opportunity to embarrass you by showing you your first video um yes please but before we do that i've got to ask jenny l i'm guessing that's l is not your surname no, it's not. And it's also not my second name. It's it's just it's it was meant to be a a clever wordplay that Kai came up with, my husband mm -hmm. actually. Um not myself. Uh can't take credit <laughs> for this one. So it's basically so he, I've never, by the way, took French in school. I learned Latin in school. So he told me L is French for like she, like female, mm -hmm. like a pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um it also sounds like how we in German would pronounce, and I also, I guess, in English, the letter L, yep. which is the first letter of my last name. So, ha ha, Jenny L. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. <laughs> it 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 felt so much more clever before we. It is try to explain it to other people, but it's that's the story basically. It's the level of cleverness of one of those cryptic clue crossword puzzles that when someone explains it to you, you understand, but it takes about three minutes to explain. Exactly, but yeah, that's that's basically it. But it's a great name. It reminds me of those fifties uh, and sixties stage names, like the really glamorous, and even things like Brad Pitt <gasps> and stuff like that. It's Jenny L. It's a good name. Yeah, it's it's short. Yeah, it's it's. I agree. I need to think of one. Yeah, you you need to have nailed a, a name down because currently you're Mr. Floating Hands Man from Watchfinder and Co. <laughs> you're just the voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So, can you see the video, Jenny? Yes, I can. Do you have your cringing at the ready? Oh, I'm, I'm bracing myself for it. Okay. <laughs> we, when was the last time you watched this video? Um, I think oh, it must have been months ago and Kai showed it to me and I was like, look, it's baby Jenny. And by the way, I still very much love and own that, that jumper I'm wearing in that video. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. That's why I wore it for my first one. <laughs> so Kai, Kai every now and then digs this up just to, to talk to you and go, do you remember when you did this? Well, it's a very proud moment for him. And I mean, it is also a proud moment for myself. Don't get me wrong, but it's, oh, wow. It's, it's, it's going to be a ride, I think. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Let's watch some of it. Hi, oh, no. I'm Jenny. And today oh. I am reviewing the highly debated Odysseus Sports Steel Watch by A. Lange und Söhne. I got the opportunity to wear and test it for a week. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the watch its pros and cons, and most importantly, oh, why this is not a sports watch <laughs> after all. Let's get right into it. There have been a lot of rumors going around for a while <laughs> regarding a sports steel watch from the German... I'm, I'm going to mute it there because it looks like you're about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it what is wrong with that? That was brilliant. I mean, yes, I do agree. Objectively, I think I did a fantastic job. I gotta, you know, um, toot my own horn here. Yeah. But it's... Until this day, I don't know if you can agree with this, Andrew, I cannot stand to hear my own voice. It is my personal <laughs> hell to hear myself talk. I mean, right now, I mean, I'm still editing my, my own videos, so I kind of learned to live with it. But in that YouTube setting, it is still oof, wild, but it's it's very sweet. I, I, I'm very proud of how how I have um, 
progress, let's put it that way. Do you have any presenting background? Um, no, I just really loved to doing it in school. Um, I was always the first one to, to like go up in front of the class and just speak. But that's about it, I guess. Because it's it's so slick, right out of the Thank gate, you. it seems like you have previous experience with that or training with that. Because I, I've got to the point where I'm, I'm fine with my own voice hearing it, 300 odd videos in. Okay. But when I go back to the original <laughs> ones, um, yeah. and that's, that's not an invite, please don't go back to the original ones. Oh, I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> when you play those back... Mm -hmm. It's a different voice to the one now, a different presentation style, and I've really had to try and force myself to change how I mm -hmm. talk and change how I present and, and work on it so I don't sound like a, a frightened little boy. So here we have it, the grey and blue dial 116622. And what we've got to compare is 2015's 116655, another surprise release from Rolex that's really turned heads. <laughs> I really miss that voice because you used to uh, you used to get a lot of people in the comments thinking you were the comedian Alan Davies. <laughs> I used to upvote all those comments so much because I just really wanted to keep that going. <laughs> oh, I hated that, but but Jenny here, I don't know. It just it just sounds professional. It sounds slick. It sounds most importantly confident as well, which I think is really important. Thank you. I'm very envious. I mean, uh, the reason why like, we don't appear on camera is because I can't string two words together without having to <laughs> pause or arm and r and. So it's really easy to cut audio together to make me sound coherent. Yeah, that's what I, I mean. I think that was the, how many times did I attempted to film that video? It's like probably like five, six times. Oh, really? Um, but I have to say a shout out again to Kai, because I mean, I was behind the camera for our German channel. So I had to, had the opportunity to watch him do it and, and learn yeah. behind the camera and then see how he does it. and. Um, that helped him and I mean you can tell it's it's a good start and I had so much help and I think that's that's what got me there to the first video oh the memories <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I can't believe it's only uh, so this video was uploaded on the 5th of January 2020 so two years ago mm. just uh, just over it seems like you've been in the, the game a lot longer like I mean how does it feel like for you those two years has it raced by or do you feel like you've been doing it no time at all I mean I, I feel like it's been like like I said it's like a lifetime ago I don't know yeah. why I have such a messed up feeling of time but it, it feels such a long time ago since I've posted the very first video. Maybe because it's I, I we already did so much videos in German and with watches and all that. Yeah. It kind of blurs the line between when I started. Cause I was always I was already in the in the watch space. I was just not visible. And then the fifth of January, that's when I I mean, I think when did I decide to, to I think it was in December twenty nineteen was when I you can, by the way, see me on the German channel. I think I that's my first cameo and I joined it so much. Oh, we'll have to look for that. Um, I am, I'm wearing a funny, funny little sweater there as well. Um, <laughs> and, and I liked it so much. I was like, you know what, just, I'm just going to try. And I've picked this very specific watch and, and video topic for my first one because I liked it so much. It was also one of the first very 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 expensive watches we were given i mean to like on loan is that how you say it yeah yeah i wanted to ask you about that because that was a new release wasn't it so um was kai was. in there to sort of get you that exclusive as it were because it was it was sort of brand new wasn't it at the time it was it was it was it was um such an interesting time for alang und Söhne when that one came out it was we filmed it for our german channel and um i mean we already had the footage and I remember we had a, I think it was like a 24 hour time frame, or like 48 hour to film everything and, you know, script the video to know what we want to shoot. Right. And it was right before Christmas, I believe, or in between Christmas and New Year's. I can't remember. It was very stressful, but also very fun at the same time. <laughs> and because I, I had so much, much fun filming this and just learning about the watch and uh, it just made sense to, to, to take this one as a first. I remember being supremely jealous that you managed to get an Odysseus because 
People would think, of course, we're owned by Richemont. So is uh, a language owner, and so we would be able to get hold of an Odysseus. But the, the hoops we had to jump through to get one, and we were like, hey, mm-hmm. this new kid's got one. That's not fair. <laughs> um, but you did a great job with it. We were we were very, very, very lucky. And um, yeah, it was just, it was it was luck. It was luck. Don't, don't take it the wrong way. Because <laughs> I think it was... Maybe because the person who was responsible for like press in Germany, um, he he, we had a very good uh, like conversation and all that, and just one thing led to the other, and we were also very much pressing our language zone for it. So maybe we were just too annoying, <laughs> and we did not stop. And it was they they would just be like, okay, make them shut up. You can have it for like a couple of hours, and then send it back right away. <laughs> oh. oh, make a note of that, Tom. Be annoying, and then we'll get more watches. I can be annoying. That's fine. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Um. I'd I'd like. I'd like as well. At this point, uh, while we're talking about Alangazona, um, my pronunciation. I've been informed is absolutely awful. So, would you mind giving me a little impromptu lesson on how to say it properly, please? (laughs) Of of course. And by the way, it is the way you say it is how Kai and I sometimes say it because we like it so much. (laughs) So, um, yeah. Quick lesson on how to pronounce A Lange und Söhne. So, I mean, it's A, that's the letter. I think A is quite simple. Yeah. So, A. Uh. And then the NG is, I think, a bit tricky. So, it's Lange. It's very soft. Lange. Lange. <laughs> Lange. Very good. So, A, Lange. A, Lange. Perfect. Uh. Und. 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 It's a, the U is very short. It's very in front of your mouth. U, und. Und. Perfect, yeah. A, lange, und. A, lange, und. Good. And then it's Söhne. So it's a Z. It's like a snaky Z. And then it's a U. It's also very much in front of your mouth. Ne. It's a very short, like, Söhne. Söhne. Yeah, yeah. Just a bit longer at the end. Söhne. Söhne. Yeah. Zune. A, lange, und, Söhne. The, just the und. <laughs> A, lange, und. Ooh. A lange und Söhne. That's so good. <laughs> See, you did it. Very good. I think I'm going to have to watch this back and practice over and over again. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. I don't think I'll ever be 100%, but hopefully I'll be close enough to uh, close down that particular thread of comments. I mean, it is very difficult, let's be real. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's it's also, by the way, it's when I do my pronunciation videos. Yeah. What I do is I listen to, and that's the thing. People in the comments saying that I'm I might have made a mistake with Skoda. I think that's the wrong the one I, I pronounced wrong. But I am listening to interviews of CEOs of those companies. And if they are mispronouncing it, then it's their fault and not mine. <laughs> so don't come for me in the comments. I did my research and like I keep on like listening to these people over and over again uh, saying the name of, of their like companies. So that's that's how I learned. Cause like I said, I never took French. No idea. So that's my pro tip. Well, there's there's the there's the transition from one CEO saying Jäger le culture and Juge le culture and whichever I say, the other half of the comments disagrees with me. Where do you stand yeah. on that one? Um, I mean, if it if I had to choose, I would like to call it Jäger le culture, but it's that's not going to happen because <laughs> uh, I I think it's Juge le culture. Yeah, I find myself saying Jäger. I think it's best to stay on the safe yeah. side and say JLC. And, and ALS. Yeah. I think this is also, don't, I, maybe you disagree with this, but I feel that the complicated name puts people off from buying watches like that. I agree. That's my little hot take. Because you are, fe- I felt embarrassed to go into a watch store and say, can I look at a Jugel Le Coultre Reverso? <laughs> I would be like, uh, Jäger, Reverso, bitte, danke. <laughs> um, can I have one of those? Please, the square yeah, one, thank same, you. Same with Richard <laughs> Mill. I'm still not sure if that's correct. Richard Mill? Richard I Mill? I, I've heard Mill, like that. Mille. How do you think you can afford this? You can barely even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Richard exactly. Mill. Get out. <laughs> but yeah, I think, yeah, again, hot take. Um, but I think that puts people off. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. I might do a video about just anglicizing every name. Ah, Lang and Son, <laughs> Carter, Carter Tank Frank Ace. <laughs> How to mispronounce watch brands. That's my area of expertise. 
The Cockney Guide to Watchmaking. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Do you remember meeting the first fan that recognised you? Well, I've... <laughs> it was actually in Geneva. No, wait, sorry, it, that wasn't Geneva. It was when I went to the Swatch Boutique a couple of months ago for the Moonswatch release, because oh, really? I was like... I gotta give me some of that wound smudge action and just see if people are actually, if this is going to be as crazy as we all thought it was going mm. to be. Well, it turns out it was even crazier. And I was holding my camera and I was filming the crowd. And I was just like, wow, this is insane. What is happening? And then someone came up to me and was like, are you Jenny? And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I am. And I started sweating profusely because <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> but it was very nice and very sweet. And that was the very first time someone someone recognized oh wow that's really recent i would have thought it would have happened almost instantaneously <laughs> no 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 people Which recognize is... kai no one knows who i am <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man that whole moon watch thing was crazy i remember seeing <gasps> the yes. leaks for that and i thought we have to make content for this we have to make content for this and your video over a million views now for that and that was I, see another thing i i mean i thought I, I knew it was going to be interesting for lots of people, but not in that range, in that scale. It, it's intense, but yeah, those leaks, man, oh, I love that kind of stuff. That's the, that's almost my favorite part about the watch world, the, the drama, not the negative stuff, but just the exciting things, the leaks, the, the, the rumors, the speculations and talking about this and that, and then it comes out and then you react to it and oh can't get enough of that stuff yeah it's such a weird industry isn't it <laughs> absolutely <laughs> um but yeah the the, the moon swatch thing for me was crazy because it was a very modern feeling of a product launch usually with watch mm -hmm. the watch industry they just go here's the watch and here's all the details and it's all very controlled the moon swatch yes. was just chaos and still to this day it's chaos um, so exciting and it was it was more like the launch of a new kind of off-white Nike collaboration or something bonkers <laughs> like that. Um, it was it was a breath of fresh air. How do you think that's all it panned was. out now for uh, for mm. Swatch? Well, I feel, uh, and it's 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 the the stuff that I'm reading online. I haven't talked so much to other people about this offline, but I can see online people are very much um, saying that they are over it in a way. And I also get lots of people saying like, yeah, if, if I can get my hands on one, you know, by chance, if I walk past the Swatch store and there happens to be one, I, I might buy it. If not, that's fine. Um, I think the the disappointment set in quite quickly because then people started to realize that, no, you cannot get it in like four weeks after the release online. And then I, I feel the, the Watch community is very maybe that's just a human thing in general i'm not part of many other communities so maybe i'm lacking the experience here um very quick to to turn their backs on something if it doesn't work the way you expect it to then it's just like nah no thanks and i feel that's the the situation with the moon swatch right now i think people seem to be kind of over it and then you had the whole drama with the with the blue coming off um oh, yeah that was the saturn wasn't it um neptune oh neptune yeah sorry yeah mm. i really think that uh swatch and omega could have done watches and wonders really done it in by putting the online mm. launch out <clears throat> at the same time that rolex announced its products can you Oof. imagine the chaos if those two things happen at the same time and everyone everyone's in the rolex presentation and <gasps> the all the phones go off because they can get their online order and everyone's going oh, 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 oh buy 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 oh. and the guy present <laughs> presenting for rolex is going what's going oh, on Oh, that would be even <laughs> better oh yeah imagine the chaos imagine the chaos and then no one would talk about anything else in watches and wonders i imagine yeah. i mean i wasn't there so I can only guess, but... Yeah, we, we missed I you there. I, I heard a funny story, actually. <laughs> um, the, uh, I, don't, I can't even remember where this story came from. <laughs> the rumour mill. Yeah, you still managed to create a buzz. <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah. Someone said that you turned up and that you had been accosted by so many male fans that you had to leave. Is that true? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. <laughs> That is that is wild. No, no, I I I totally failed my Geneva trip. Um, 
because I, because we are still very much in the process of moving, mm -hmm. and it was right at the time where the move was supposed to happen, but then stuff got delayed, as it always does. It never happens the way you plan it with moving. And I was, I wasn't even in Geneva for 24 hours in total. I arrived, I can't remember the weekday at like 3 p.m., and I went back the next day at 11. Um, <laughs> but no, I did not. I did not got like swarmed. Uh, by my fans i i was just having dinner <laughs> with people <laughs> what was really funny though when you told me that andrew i was like oh okay fair enough like i totally believed it <laughs> yeah immediately i was like yeah obviously of course that happened and it, it raises a really interesting question because of course this particular industry is incredibly dominated by guys and um i'm yeah. sure people have noticed that you aren't one it's no, it's, it's a, it is definitely a topic on everyone's lips. Like, what's what is it like from the other side of the fence? Mm. It really isn't. I, I I mean, I think it's just the same because like now at at, the, at this point, some people know me and it's like, oh yeah, that's Jenny. And I think the novelty of being a, a female, like a woman in this in this community, has worn off. Yep. which is totally fine, and I'm I'm happy that that this is not news anymore, that yeah. this is a girl talking about watches. <laughs> and we've got so many other cool, cool ladies in this as well, which I'm a huge fan of. So um, it's it's been it's been fine. Yeah, I'd love to talk to uh, Watch Gringer as well. She's she's very up and she's coming, isn't she? So funny. She said I went and that's the, the full circle moment here because she was doing a live about the Moon Swatch situation, mm -hmm. and uh, I very spontaneously joined in, and then we had a little chat afterwards. And she is so fun, and we do share lots of hobbies uh, besides the the whole watches. Oh, go on. What else? What 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 else do you do when you're not bathing in watches? Because <laughs> um, we we touched on like cosplaying and and just like geeky stuff, and and gaming and all that. I think if you were to combine co cosplaying with watches, you might double your fan base overnight. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wild. By the way, there is. Um, I don't know if anyone who listens to this has played Uncharted, mm -hmm. the latest um, Uncharted game. Mm -hmm. um, there's one guy wearing a date just in this. Oh, really? Is there? <laughs> I spotted it. Yes. <laughs> like a character in the game is, is wearing a date just. Oh, that's funny. So forget the watches. You're a gamer as well. I I have been known to play a gamer or two. Yes. Nice. Okay. Tom and I are both on board. I might recruit you for my spin-off gaming podcast. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've started Elden Ring now, which um, has been a blast. It was hard to get into at first. Um, I don't know. Andrew, Tom, is that something? Elden Ring? Does that ring a bell? <laughs> I haven't started Elden Ring yet. I'm still playing Demon Souls, but as far as Soulsborne, yeah, I, I've I've played, I've played all. I, I I have to finish Demon Souls. I don't get to play it very often. I can't start another one until I finish Demon Souls. It's so good. I want to play Elden Ring. Everyone's talking about Elden Ring. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Andrew seems to exclusively play Souls games, just back to back. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> That is torture. I'd be no? so stressed out. But yeah, I've, I've been um, um, jumping in and out of Elden Ring every now and then. Um, it's, yeah, it's so much fun, isn't it? It's like wow, it's, it's like so Breath of the amazing. Wild, but really horrible <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. It's uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I, I, I have, it's my first Souls game, by the way. So I had a very steep learning curve. Wow. Yeah. Is there a parallel to Watches with Elden Ring? Like kind of getting thrown into the. It's like when you yeah. post a very what seems like a dumb question like if you're like in the game for quite some time and then someone is new and just asks you like hi why why can't i get a submariner or something yeah and i feel this is how i felt you need to get good yeah if you, want, if you want a rolex you need to get good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you gotta learn the move set of your ad and then yeah. react yeah, accordingly exactly. You have you have to you have to beat the entry level Rolex boss before you're allowed to enter the uh, the Daytona. Mm, yeah, that would be the parallel to watches, I guess. Oh, I mean, I would love to have a follow up conversation with you just about Rolex. See what your thoughts are there, because that is a minefield, and I bet you've got a lot to say on it. And I got yeah, I was just about to say I got all the thoughts about Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we have taken up a lot of your time, so um, to 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 start to wrap up. What is next for you? What is next for the Genial channel? Ooh, what is next? Give us your next? trade secrets so we can copy them. 
Oh, <laughs> no problem. That's fine. Oh, I, I think that's the good and the, the, the best and the worst part about my life right now. I don't know what's next. Mm-hmm. As in, as in, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about different kinds of videos I want to make and. The, the content shifts I'm planning. I mean, I've talked about this, I think, in a Q&A a couple of weeks ago, like months, I can't remember, mm-hmm. that I want to dive into a bit of more like a historical side of watches and mm-hmm. just talk about that stuff. Uh, I read a lot about Mercedes Gleitzer and her failed channel swim and how, mm-hmm. such a funny thing, how Rolex managed to market a failed attempt so successfully they always leave the bit out that she didn't make it across, don't they? You never really hear yeah. about that. That's always a surprise. <laughs> and it's such a fun and, and interesting story also, like everything that surrounds Mercedes Gleitzer as a person. And I would love to talk about stuff like that more often. I think that's that's what interests me right now. And I think that's also, that's also a very good thing to do. Try to find um, stuff that you like personally, but also, you know, provide cool stuff for other people who watch your your channel yeah absolutely. the mix you know the mix <laughs> yeah if you, if you feel like you can find a topic that you oh i, I feel like I, there's a lot to say about that and i feel i'll be able to talk about it quite easily that's always a mm. good thing to pick isn't it you yeah. come across yeah, a watch exactly. and you go I, I don't know what this is doing it's going to be a struggle <laughs> to make a video about it <laughs> yeah 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 exactly that's it yeah I agree. And for us, even after some 300 videos, well, I'm not going to speak for Tom, but I still very much enjoy doing what we're doing. And um, even more so, I'm not going to let Tom answer that just in case he says the wrong thing. <laughs> it, it, even, even more so, I've enjoyed this conversation in particular. So I would absolutely love to do more Me stuff too. in the future. Talk about Rolex, talk about history. Maybe we'll even go traveling around the world, do some crazy stuff. Grab a, a whole. <gasps> Imagine. Talk about some new releases. <laughs> Slam dunk on some brands for being rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping the mic on some. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly, exactly. We will, <laughs> we will grab a whole bunch of us together. And um, really, the, the theme of that, I think, is that I would say we're better together. I think we can do a lot of stuff together and have a great time. So I hope that all works out because I'm excited for it. Yay! Um, <laughs> and for all of you people, for all of you people listening... If you haven't already, and I very much doubt that this is the case, but if you haven't, go to Jenny's channel, <laughs> Jenny L, subscribe to it. Yes, please. Click the bells, open all the videos, watch all of them. Don't skip the adverts, all of that good stuff. Uh, Thank you so much. Jenny deserves all the success that she's had and more. And we're so grateful that you've, you've joined us today. Thank you very, very much. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, um, that was that was so much fun. You guys, thank you so much again. No worries. And uh, also, if you are in the mood for clicking subscribe buttons and you haven't clicked ours, please do. It really does help. We're trying to beat Nico to a million. And uh, I'm sure we'll get to talk to him about that at some point in the future too. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everyone. And... Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.